Hey guys, my name is Nathan, and you watch Robot Masters. You know, I love robots, you guys like robots, but you know, this is so 2020, 2019. Now we got the hot new item, this is called Tupperware. You know what, this is the coolest thing since slice of bread. Why? Because it's so universal, you can put lids on it, you can see all food, you can do whatever you can with Tupperware. But what's cool about Tupperware, you can also make a self Bagless system. Yes, I made a bagless system for my Roombas. Now, you know, Roombas are great. They have their little portable bags. Yes, they're nice, but you know, for the environment, maybe you want something that's a little bit more substantial, lasts a little bit longer, and maybe reusable. You know, who knows? So, what I do with these bags now, they go in the trash. Now, let me show you the new upgraded system. Bring you guys up close. Oh, I hope you guys aren't getting dizzy here. Look at this guys, you ready? One, two, three. Yes, I have a bagless system for my self-emptying bin. And it works great. I'll show you guys how it works and enjoy this video. First thing you wanna do is remove the plastic part. I just kinda of cut around the bag and now I'm gonna keep that plastic housing. Next, find a suitable Tupperware. Uh, you want one that's about the same size as the bag because it will fit nicely in the self-emptying bin. And try to put the hole where the plastic part is going up towards the top. Kind of make it the same size as the actual bag because you won't have any issues with the fitting. Now, why did I choose Tupperware? Well, it's durable and it will last a long time and the lid is very easy to remove when you need to empty out the bin. Next, you want to remove the rest of the, what is that material? Kevlar? I don't know. Cloth? I actually don't know what type of material this bag's made out. Probably recycled paper, who knows. But just remove it from the plastic housing. Once you get that done, you do want to cut a hole in the top of the container where the plastic housing is going to go. Now keep in mind is I didn't measure out the hole. It might have been easier. I just kind of guessed and then I just slowly made the hole bigger and bigger until it fit around the plastic housing there. Maybe using a compass would be a little bit better so you can actually draw a nice hole. But you know, for the sake of this video, I just did it on the fly. And I woke up early because I was super excited to do this video for you guys because it just came to mind in my sleep. Yes, most of my ideas do come in my sleep. I just somehow dream about it. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this hole made. So I hope iRobot is watching and maybe they have their own solution that's more permanent and probably looks better than what I came up with. But for now, I felt like using Tupperware and cutting a hole in the lid was the best thing I could come up with. Especially when I did this video at 6am, filming and editing, it just kind of came to mind when I was in my sleep. Yes, a lot of my ideas, some of my crazy ideas, actually come when I'm just sleeping. So that's how I come up with my ideas. I believe one of you asked me, how do I come up with these crazy ideas? And basically it's just from my sleep. So once I have the hole made and I remove the cloth or sheeting, whatever the bag's made out, we should be good to go. One last thing, make sure the hole is a tight fitting because if the hole is too big, you will have air leaks and it won't create a good vacuum seal. Okay, now we just put a bunch of tape around the holes to help seal up the gaps and we should be good to go. And we're going to go ahead and try to fit it onto the self-emptying bin and see if it fits in there. Okay, I got my little bin there and one thing to note is you want to make sure it's kind of flush at the top so the lid can close. It's very important that the lid closes because that's where it makes this tight seal and creates the vacuum so it can pull up the debris from the robot up towards the self-emptying bin. Now, one thing to do I can improve on is adding a little extra gap so it makes it easier to fit it in the two grooves there. But I did manage to get it in there and the whole system was able to close up. So if you do try this, just play with it. Figure out what works for you. Um, I just kind of did it with this Tupperware. I don't have a lot of Tupperware. I've actually used glass Tupperware, so this is the only plastic one I actually had, and luckily it did fit, and I was able to close up the lid. Now, we're good to go, and as I press on the lever there, it makes a tight seal, and everything is good to go. Alright, let's go ahead and see if this contraption thingy works. Alright, so I've laid down a few Imperial Reds, and we'll see how well the Roomba picks them up, and we'll see if this backless self empty bin actually works.
Now I thought the self-emptying bin will work because I told the robot to go home, but I guess it only works when the robot does it on its own. So I went ahead and just manually told it to empty itself. Okay, moment of truth, we'll see how well this bagless self-emptying trick with the Tupperware container works. Uh, I'll get you guys up close here and you guys can see for yourself. So it looks like it grabbed a few. Um, I suspect the rest of the Imperial Reds are down in the bin of the robot. We'll just go ahead and dump this out. The reason I chose Tupperware is because it's really easy to remove the top lid and dump out the Imperial Reds. And once we go ahead and dump it out, we can just put it back into the robot there and call it a day. So it looks like you probably want to have a full uh, bin because it, the system uses pressure and it's a lot easier to pull out all of the debris when it's full than having a partially filled self-emptying bin. So that's where the rest of the Red Hots went if you were wondering why it didn't put all of it in its container here. But it works pretty well. Okay, so if you like this type of video, please smash the like button. Helps me gauge if this video is popular or not. Also, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name's Nathan, and this is Robot Masters, where we do all crazy robot vacuum reviews, unboxings, overviews. We get new robot vacuums on this channel as well. And, you know, some of you want me to get the Roomba E5. Some of you want to get the Roblox 4S4, the new one that just came out. But I decided to get the Shark IQ because I don't like to listen to you guys. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, the reason why I got the Shark IQ is because it has a self-emptying bin, and we'll see how well it competes with the Roomba i7 Plus and S9 Plus. Alright, see you.